Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Tosh. Okay, this Tosh, is how old are you? Time. I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay, very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, you don't have a relationship with God. Um, <clears throat> the kids, it depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, hey, at least you got to hear. You're not romantic. <clears throat> It get annoying when people pop before they hear the explanation. I'm like, dang, let, at least hear if there's anything else. Don't just keep, don't, don't just pop it uh, just because of one one phrase. Like, goodness, let, hear what's behind it. And then after that, if it sounds like what you thought it was, then pop. Good. They be popping. They be trying to be dramatic on the show. You can't communicate. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, we did get a pop balloon. Okay. It's gone down over there. See what's going on. <laughs> All right, your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. And Nati, why did you end up popping your balloon? First off, you're very pretty. And mm -hmm. uh, all my family's in healthcare too, so I like the cheer registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, right now in my life, I'm not really a, I wouldn't identify as a Christian or anything religious. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. But I mean, you're cool though. I like it. Okay. okay. Thank right. you. <laughs> now, is Nati someone that's your type? I would, I would say he's very handsome. So yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hand you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, who may not really be your type, outfit, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to you. Okay. And go ahead and pop those two. Um... Uh... Okay, and one more. Um, okay, let's start over here since we're here. Name and age? Uh, Dante, uh, 25. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, you melanated. Bro, chocolate <laughs> man. Hey, haven't seen no one like that in Arizona in a long time, so okay. hey, it looks smooth, you feel me? <laughs> Got it. So why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, you just seem very flashy, like the teeth, the piercing. Yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. Oh, this was actually subtle today, too. Oh, really? oh yeah, this was subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy, then. Well, I got everything I got. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage, if you, you're probably going to call me flashy. So, like, Got cool. It. Like, it is what it is. Okay. All right. And then we did pop one more. Let's head down over here. Okay, your name and age? John. I'm 31. Right. And, John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so... I see you blushing, but yeah, that's why I had my uh, um, balloon unpop. Okay, got it. And now, why did you end up popping his? Um, I don't really like dreads. That's why. That's why I like a cut, nice cut. But yeah, that's the only I reason. Thought she was gonna be with the uh, Sorry. Ja Jamaican type look. You feel me? You just got the Boom. safari going. You feel me? But I mean, Thank I feel you. you. I feel you. Okay. Rasta fry. Thank you. Uh, oh, all right. Name and age. Chris, 27. Okay, Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because you don't like dreads. And I used to have dreads, and when it's summer, I'm going to put, put them back in, so she going to hate me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, okay. I like them pull back. Yours look nice. But I okay. appreciate it. Yeah. But you're very pretty, though. Thank real you. Real. Thank you. And now, is he someone that's your type? Um, I don't know. I have to learn more, <laughs> oh. more about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A little mysterious. Well, right, right. Yeah. We'll let her slide with that. <laughs> All right, so we do have four balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these guys a question to help you narrow it down. Okay, so what do you guys like to do for fun? Okay, let's start here with your name and age. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Ryan, what do you like to do for fun? I like to stay active, so I like going on hikes. I like going to museums. I think I'm very much a morning person, so less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. Name nice and age. Nice in general. Nice in general. Uh, 
my age is 26. Okay, and now, uh, Justin, what do you like to do for fun? I like to go skating, you know, like roller skating and everything. You know, I'm real active. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love to play basketball, too, you know, so that's what I love to, love to do, you know. Okay. And I love to eat different food places and everything, too. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? Uh, I'm Trey, 25 years old. Trey, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I I love friends and family. I'm a very big family oriented person, whether it's chosen family. Yeah, he looked like Reggie uh Cools. He looked like Reggie Cools, man. But his name is he like this guy right here. That's who he looked like, don't he? Family. I spent a lot of times with my pastors, my friends. I have some friends that live in other states, so I get on the game with them from time to time. But that's really it. I'm a really relaxed person, but I love adventure. Like I I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that. I enjoy, like I just went skydiving, I'm doing this, I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy, learn more about myself. Okay. Name and age? I'm um, Key, 28. Okay. Key, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to, yeah, I'm a laid back guy, real chill, simple, uh, just hang out with friends, catch a sports game here and there, uh, you know, take a walk in the park, something, you know, catch a movie, I'm, I'm low maintenance, I don't really do too much, so. Okay. Low maintenance. Yeah. That's really it. All right. Funny way to put it. <laughs> okay. So based off of all this information you heard, I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Um, can I ask one more question? Next round. She's going to pop all black. Okay. I'm popping this. Oh, right. love lives service out of here. here. Um, I just like the rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things, but I just like their answers better. Cool. Yeah. So, Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really mature, and uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline. And, like, so I'm just a great person, yeah. like, all around, Thank like, 360. You. Thank you. All right. And we do have two guys left. Oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Oh, my okay. goodness. This where do you question. see yourself in five years? Investments, real estate, you know, get into that, you know. And uh, honestly, I want to do some traveling, too. Mm -hmm. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there in progressing in business, yeah. you know. So dang, okay. I think he lost. Okay, what's going over here? I think that's I think that's all BS. All right, and what was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you want to do. I'd like to be like, have a higher paying job, have a have a home instead of just an apartment. I'd like to be building with my family. But I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having just like a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like, if you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Okay. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in the next five years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop. It's nothing, nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just... Uh, you seem very, like, you know, soft-spoken, real chill, laid back. I am, too. So I need someone to kind of, like, on the opposite spectrum of that. You know, Okay. that's really it. Yeah. Okay. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. that, that's, that's it. But, yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she was someone that is your type? Yeah, she she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I'd probably, I'd definitely approach her if I seen her out. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl? You got one? What's your love language? Um, That's a good question. I would say my love language is words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, acts of service. Let me change that. Acts of service. That's acts my service. love language. Yes. Okay. Yes. For sure. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. What? Let's switch it to him. What's yours? Yeah. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So... I'm big on like, I don't know where that goes into, like affection, uh, what? Affection. Uh, physical, yeah, yeah, physical touch, because you know, it's actually reason, because like, I got two loving parents at home, you feel me? Mom and dad, that's what that's just what I'm used to seeing. You know, they got a good relationship with each other, so, you know, that's why I picked up on it, you know? So that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions down here? 
Am I answering her question? Or, no, no, uh, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Not just be an RM, but what are you here to do? Um, Ooh, he I definitely a, believe mm. I'm... Nah, nah, okay, now the question that he asked, I know a lot of people are not going to get it. Like, what do you mean, um, you know, some people might get it. But he's asking, like, a, like a, like what's your purpose, like, beyond your job? Like, what's it? Because... If you ask somebody who who is a Christian, what's your purpose? They'll tell you, you know, about things about what they believe God wants them to do and what and what they believe God has for them to do, uh, for for here, and for people and things like that. So I think he's asking that question along that line. So let's see what she says. Let's see if she's going to say something like that, or if or if she might not. I'm here to help people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I invent children's toys, so dolls. Um, growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me. So I've started a business in which I'm creating dolls that look like me. So, yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. Well, never right. mind. It's good for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is time to pop. Out of these two guys left, Whose balloon are we popping? Um, oh, yes. wow. <laughs> All right, where do we end up popping his? Um, He won me over with that, how he was raised in a household with two parents, and yeah. he just grew up seeing, like, love, and that's really important to me, too. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's okay. why. But you're very handsome. Thank you. And I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you, but, yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and she qualifies for the preferences. You're gorgeous which is Thanks. a necessity for me you love god which is number two on that list you're number open two and, honest and transparent and that's phenomenal and you have family value so that's fantastic so i yeah. look i was ready thank you okay thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right let me bring you on up bring you on up come on up <laughs> hey i don't think this guy is about god though i don't know i might be yeah. miss miss um all right guys any judging. final questions nope I don't have any more questions. You ain't got no questions? Nope. Let me see. I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. All right. So is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. And is it a yes for you for yes. him? We got a mess. Let me take this mic. You guys can go on up. <laughs> Woo! Make some noise for them, y'all. He looked thirsty to me, man. He looked like he's, he's, he's right back. He like he want to jump into something. Was it looking for love? Then you came along, yeah. how we got along, you singing to my songs.